We focused on the writer residency aspects of this programme. So each of our seasons has a writer in residence and a theme, and we invite that writer to come and spend time here thinking about what they want to write inspired by the setting of Exeter and the Custom House, but also in their own way, working with us on ideas for them to work with members of the public. So we've done all different things, but it's been very exciting that we can offer anybody who wants it access to a real writer to come and meet them and work with them. We had a group of uh, emerging writers to work on it and it was really left with what they thought and how they wanted to conclude that story to what they came up with. So really it was me just giving the ammunition and letting them construct whatever kind of weapon they wanted to fire with it. No two stories were the same and the, the, the differences in storytelling, in the use of narrative and in the use of characters was vast. I think I learned as much as I taught, probably more, and I am, whenever I teach a creative writing workshop or an ongoing course or whatever, I'm always stunned by how other people's imaginations work. I mean, I feel it with my own imagination that sometimes stuff comes out and I think, well, where did that come from? And whoa, I like that. Sometimes it turns out to be nonsense. But to see other people do it, especially with like timed tasks, and there were a couple of tasks that were so fruitful in terms of stimulating people's imagination that I use them myself now. And one of them, a brilliant one that I hadn't ever used before, was give people last lines and then you have got half an hour to write the story that this is the last line of. And people, you know, three people sitting next to each other and then sharing their stories and they'd all chosen the same last line and had totally different things to say. It is joyous to, to observe the the, that blossoming, I think. The truth is, I think, that when you write, you have to make this huge leap. We call it of imagination, but I'm not even sure it's that. You make a great leap into a world where there are people that you are inventing, places that you are inventing, but of course they're not inventions. They, they come from your memories, they come from events that have happened, and so you're mixing up this extraordinary connection between truth and reality and important truths too. The, the notion that somehow truth is in history and not in fiction is nonsense. It's in both and it's really important I think for young people at a very very young age and some of these are really young. They do not know how young they are until they get to 77 I promise you. And the truth is that if you find a voice as a writer when you're quite young and you find the confidence to write then it'll come. Lord Kerwin asked suddenly, still gazing intently at the spotlighted picture, his cigar slowly disappearing, unsmoked. It arrived this morning, replied Michel, glancing furtively at his watch. He shivered at the sight of the glaring colours of the picture reflected on the clock face. I decided to wait for the self-service. After the pattern was finished, I ran to it and scanned the mark. Then I paid for it and ran out of the shop. I didn't climb the apartment block, instead going through a path that I hadn't seen before. I ran out and ran to my house. I rushed inside, locked the door and flopped onto my couch. Suddenly, I realised that it wasn't milk I, I had bought, but... She did not answer. Yet when I returned home and my own mother caught me crying at my lack of remarkable brightness, I couldn't help the superlative warmth I felt as she stroked my cheek flesh against flesh, so beautifully, singularly human, and told me that I will rattle the stars in my own extraordinary way, because for her, I was always going to be the sun.